We all are going to miss each other terribly, but we'll know each other in a different way, right? And also, I hope that they were grateful to you guys for spreading the word about our show for so long. I'm very grateful for that. It's true. Without you guys, you know, booked us. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you? Well, okay, can I go first? Yeah, go. Okay. You, father figure, warehouse, so this organic lady you're married to, she's a very big mistress. Yeah, love, hate. Yes, you, in the last six episodes, are really kind of revealing the more human aspect of Artie. How he's not infallible. No, he's certainly not infallible, that's for sure. How is that process? Well, you know, I tell you, I stopped thinking a lot about the writing of the show. Once Jack Kenny uh, was the head writer and became, um, and written the first season, I, I stopped worrying about the writing. I, I really stopped thinking about it that much. I wanted to be surprised where the viewers were. I took whatever road uh, I was given. Any great writing of any great series is going to use the personality of the actors involved. They have to, because it's too hard otherwise. So they're going to play into your strengths and your weaknesses and try to bring out the character based on who you are. So uh, whether the character became more vulnerable or dark or all those things, th those were not my concerns. I, d I did my job and I tried to invest it with as much of me as I could and commit committed, you know, 100% to what was given. My, my, my thing was that I was with these great people and this, and I was very, a lot of it is about no matter what actors tell you, they're not doing a movie, they're doing a series. It's, it's, in our case, it's like doing, you know, over 30 movies together, right? So, it's about process, uh, a lot of it. it the, the writing we knew was going to be tightrope a walk, between comedy and drama. We called it facting, acting, and schmacking. <laughs> facting when you had a lot of exposition, acting when you had to act, and schmacking when you had a lot of green screen, as in, as in acting, schmacking. So we called it facting, acting, schmacking. We did a lot of it. And a lot of sci-fi shows do that, fantasy adventure. The trick is the real secret. First of all, it's a great premise. That's not enough to do a great show. A lot of great premises around. The, the executives rarely do it, but they did it. They, they got together, more than one creator, more than one writer, and they created a great premise and they made it better and better. And then in an act of stupendous counterintuitive genius, they hired Jack Kenny, who had never had any sci-fi experience whatsoever, to be the showrunner. Huh? Why? Because he said, if you don't have a family that likes each other, that the audience loves this one show, I'll hire people and, uh, that know a lot about sci-fi, and Ar Aunt Claudia needs a sorcerer's apprentice. Uh, Artie needs a so sorcerer's apprentice, or he's going to have no one to him. So he created that idea, and and that was one of the highlights of, of the show: is that father-daughter mentor uh, student relationship. So our our secret weapon, aside from the fact that we had one of the best design teams on television, unheralded. But that's the way it is when you're on a small cable network, and, and you know you're not going to get an Emmy nomination, but but they deserve it. And it's one of the most beautifully designed shows on television. But our secret weapon, like a lot of people will tell you, is not just that we have great writing. A lot of shows have great writing, but because of the kind of show we were, that bounced around, uh, and because of the versatility that was required of us in terms of acting, smacking, and acting, and comedy, and, and drama, and stake, from moment to moment. Jack was on the set. Jack, a former actor, who out of 150 episodes of comedy written, who had done a lot of sitcoms and drama. The shows are written early enough, so the schedule is freed up enough. Very rare on network television. Almost impossible. Almost impossible to do on an hour-long network show. Written in L.A., shot in New York. Showrunner is not going to be there, believe me. It's going to be on the phone and hard to get. He was right there. That's our secret weapon. Right there. We're doing a scene. It's not playing properly. He changes it on the spot. Are you, are you happy with the progression of your character from beginning to end, where you oh. end up at the end? Oh, oh, oh of course. It's, it's a beautiful, one of the best roles I've ever had on anywhere, whether it's television, film, or anything. I've never done 30 movies of a character. I mean, the character has had a huge range of emotions and experiences, all of which are most, they're human. The artifacts are not the standing, they're human. So, I mentioned, no, I'm sorry, they gotta go. They gotta go, I'm sorry. Do you have new plays? Uh, new plays? Uh, yeah, I, I wrote one new one and there's another one coming.